Hi Capricorn, welcome in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot and this is going to be your reading for the upcoming week. Mid-month, right? Capricorn, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Let us see what messages we get for you. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. May not be your reading entirely. Right. Mid-month messages. Let's start with your environment. The Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Okay. Wow. Can be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you were dealing with or you are about to deal with, right? But this is very positive. Overall energy, it's quite good. You have some choice to make regarding a relationship, commitment, or love life. This can be between two people, between two important people of your life, or simply a choice in love, right? Overall, it's Ten of Pentacles. Well, this is interesting. What else? This can also be that the person you're dealing with is going through some kind of choice in their life, right? They might be showing you that things are quite well and stable, but at heart they're going through some kind of choice. Judgment, okay. We got a call from somebody. High Priestess, but you're very quiet. Or maybe you might be getting a call from somebody, a judgment call, call for reconciliation. But I don't see you reacting much over it. Okay. So you're broken from within and you really don't want to work over the situation. Hermit can be an earth sign you're dealing with or you dealt with. Capricorn, I see from the cards that the person you're dealing with is showing you that I want to have the connection with you. Maybe in past they tried reaching out to you. In the recent energies, I see some kind of judgment call here. Maybe in the upcoming time, they might try to do that again. But I don't really see you reacting. I see a very numb energy from your side, Capricorn. This is not good. Suddenly, of, suddenly your energies have changed. Like from past few weeks, they were quite positive. But right now I see you coming out of a big burden in your life. And something is really hurting here with the Ten of Swords. You're accepting some kind of ending which was quite painful, hurtful. For you, something is over and you're quiet about it. You're not expressing much about it because you don't want to do that. We'll clarify further, but this person is going through some kind of choice and they, I think you're one of the choice, maybe you were the priority, but because you're quiet, maybe they're getting forced by the universe or it is a push from the universe that they have to make a choice, right? But for you, I think it's over. Okay. Let me keep it here. Capricorn, Moon Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. What messages we have for Capricorn? Who is this Queen of Cups? And uh, what do they want to say? Judgment. Okay, the Page of Pentacles and the Magician. Yes, they were very interested in you. They were actually very, very interested in you. And they really wanted to manifest something with you. What happened to this judgment call? I pick up for most of you that you got this judgment call from this person and you turned it down because it's over for you. For the rest of you, you might be getting it in this time period, right? Emperor, yes, you are not in a mood. Very stubborn energy. I see you embracing some kind of masculine energy here, Capricorns because i see the person you're dealing with is embracing some kind of feminine energy ace of cups you were looking for some new love opportunity or you will be looking for some new love opportunities in your life this can be a new person approaching you in aries a new aries person trying to come close to you trying to call you or trying to approach you not this person somebody else what is this ace of cups i see some new kind of beginning you you started something new in your life, right? Some emotional new beginning here. Queen of Wands, yes. 
can be a new fire sign Aries Leo set in your surroundings but I see some kind of new beginning right and I think this has recently happened or this might happen in the upcoming time but I for most of you I pick up that this has already happened you have got some kind of new proposal or you have someone new in your life but this person is still keen on having information about you wanting to talk to you wanting to manifest the connection again ten of pentacles on their mind this person might be showing you that i'm still there for some of you this can be that this person is showing that showing you that i'm already in a relationship and i just want to be there three of swords no you are the one breaking their heart they're coming out of some kind of emotional loss king of swords okay hurt eight of wands they want to talk they want to talk capricorn they're not happy about something but you're very quiet why are you quiet it's like they're trying to communicate but you're just not answering the call maybe they're sending messages they hurt because you are just not responding to anything they're sending to you i see you high priestess very quiet what is this high priestess Yet. okay it's over for you let's take it that way what is this death about three of pentacles i'm good where i am i'm working over new stuff i'm making some masterpiece in my life related to work related to family related to love and this this chapter is over for me it's over end ten of pentacles you have something fresh in your life okay and i think for most of you this is a relationship that recently started or it is about to start i pick up strong potential relationship in your energies the lovers what is this lovers about what is this choice nine of pentacles either to stay single is it so nine of swords okay nine nine okay nine 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 of pentacles nine of swords and nine of cups with the knight of pentacles here capricorn uh they are happy also because they're independent and they're about to have something new in their life they have choices they have so much so much on the plate i'm picking up but at the same time they're quite worried also but i would still say that don't go by what they're saying <laughs> they're going to tell you that i'm hurt i'm angry i'm moving on because you broke my heart but somewhere at heart i feel some kind of satisfaction on this person's mind right so i don't really think you're bothered about it because i see some kind of new beginning here i think something new has started in your life already but if it is about to happen and you're still going through some ten of swords death kind of energy high priestess so just um, i don't think what they're exactly saying is matching their intentions right so they do are stressed about something because this connection is ending because you're not responding to them but somewhere at heart they are going good with it you know over time they'll be like okay if capricorn is not interested fine i'll explore new things in my life i see too much on their plate maybe they're exploring too much i see some kind of self-indulgent energy either this person is uh, earning having good money working focusing on their work but something is there which is satisfying them. This can be a relationship also in the pipeline. Let me see what is this Ten of Swords for you. How are you feeling about it? How are you feeling about this ending? You are accepting that something is over and for most of you I'm picking up that you just don't want to start again. Simply don't want to start again. Knight of Cups. Let me drink my own cup first. Five of Cups, not very happy about something. High Priestess again. Okay, Six of Pentacles. I pick up a kind of dissatisfaction in your energies, Capricorn. This is after so long. Like, I was not picking up this energy from past so many days. But right now, I pick up some kind of dissatisfaction in your energies. Something is ending here. Maybe for some of you, this can be you had your eyes over somebody 
from past so long. Maybe you were not talking, there was no communication in past, but you were thinking about that person. I see somebody is getting into a relationship and you're not very happy about it. Though there was no scope of relationship, I don't see some kind, I don't see any kind of uh, conversation in the beginning, but there's something which you're not very happy about. Spilled cups, keeping quiet about the past energies. I also feel that you were not able to save something. Someone wanted to get into a relationship with you, but probably some kind of sabotage energy here. But now things are changing, right? I pick up that you're looking for some answers. You strongly are guided to listen to your intuition here. Hermit, high priestess twice. Your intuition wants to tell you something, but I think you you focus too much over giving stuff to other people, just not able to focus over what your heart is saying, right? Something is uh, missing, I'm picking up. Something is not satisfying here. Let me have these cards first. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Again, that very similar energy, hermit. And high priestess twice you need to listen to your intuition you're afraid about something trapped in fear I recognize that I've chosen fear and I choose again I choose love oh my god this is okay I'm getting it now some past choices which were wrong some past decisions which were wrong I see that you picked up something in past which was a uh, which did not really come from a good place, right? That was a bad choice made, a wrong choice. Again, can you see this fear here, trapped in fear energy? I, I have chosen fear in past and I need to come out of that energy. I choose again, I choose love. Hmm. I think you guys are regretting about some past decision right now, right? If you were thinking about a specific person, I think they are now having some choices in love and that is making you feel afraid. That is making you feel uh, a bit fearful, I should say. But this shall pass, right? This too shall pass. I see that you need to trust yourself. Your intuition is trying to guide you for something and you're not listening to it. Because you're too much focused about the fears and anxieties and the negative emotions which are trapping within you. You know, Capricorn, we cannot go back to our past and correct our decisions. Nobody can do that, right? We have to live with them. But criticizing ourselves, regretting over the past decisions, hurting ourselves for some things maybe which were circumstantial won't take us anywhere and won't take you anywhere if you're trying to do that. The most important thing, the most important message I'm getting here is that things are changing for you and uh, the only navigation tool you have to sail through this energy is your intuition, right? Your heart is there, your heart is going to guide you, the universe is going to guide you right. You have to move past it. I can see three of pentacles here, I can see death energy here. I see that you were trying to make some decisions in past, not based on your happiness, but based on somebody, somebody else's happiness. Can be family, friends, or the people you care about. Took some stands which were because of other people's happiness, right? I think uh, it's time you accept the transformation in your life. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't really know what's going to happen in this situation. I cannot pick up any kind of future energy right now. I don't have the future cards on the table. But I'm just picking up the energies which are current. Trapped in fear, hermit, five of cups energy. Where I see that you're trying to focus over the negative side of the situation, right? I could have done it. I could have given more. I could have taken that stand. I could have done something to save a particular situation. No, no, that's not right. That was circumstances that had to be the way it happened, right? We cannot change it. Some things happen 
from the side of the universe and we don't really have control over it right we do think that we had control over it but in reality we did not now when you get a chance to choose again try to choose love try to choose your happiness try to take a stand for your own stability and happiness now okay trust what is coming towards you from the universe something beautiful is about to happen in your life and all you're being advised is to just come out of your fears and face the reality listen to your intuition and trust the universe right something amazing is waiting for you this was your message for this time period very deep very heavy also so thank you so much for watching bye bye